so today we're um, going to give move the cows up a little bit go and give them a bit more extra grass not going to give the whole field um, there's there's too much grass here for them so I'm going to put up an electric fence and um, partition the field off and let's say this piece then we'll move the, the fence forward last a little bit longer that way as well so I'll just um, I'll just start putting an electric fence up um, we don't use any uh, chemical fertilizers we just uh, use the cow's own manure to fertilize the land and we find we get a good growth of grass <clears throat> but also we find all these beautiful flowers grow alongside as well so it promotes healthy herbs and different things which is good for the cow's health as well as looking very very beautiful and having a wide variety and mixture of different plants so we just set up a electric fence across a portion of the field just so the cows can have this section and uh, just going to walk over now and uh, call them over Sure, they'll be happy to have a new bit of grass. I have to clean, <clears throat> I have to clean the water drop out as well. Come on then. Come on then. Come on then. Come on. Come on. Come on then. Hold, hold, hold. Come on then. Come on then. Come on then. Come on then. Come on. Come on then. There you go. Brother Dave, go ahead, boy. Come on, then. Hey, good boy. Here comes Krishna behind him. They're good boys. Still a bit muddy there. Come on, come on. Come on then.
the young ones haven't been in this field before, so that. Go ahead, Sarabi. Might take a little bit of time to come in. So this, this is Fellow Dave, it's a uh, biscuit farm, we get a dry biscuit, biscuit once or twice a day. My beautiful boy. He loves a good bottom rub.
This is um, Goose Vadasi. She's one of our older cows. She's about <coughs> about 19. Um, I first started keeping cows about 23 years ago, and I started with two Jersey calves, and she's a daughter to one of them. And uh, here we have uh, Krishna. He's a pure, pure Guernsey bullock. Um, he's not far off six foot at your shoulders. And I've never seen a Guernsey this size. As well with all of them, he loves his his uh, base of his tail rubbed. Then here we have Raki Bonaim. She's she's 20 months old. She was born here. Uh, she's in she's in for a biscuit. She's a lovely girl, she is. Very beautiful. Um, yeah, her name's Raki Pornim, and Pornim means moon, and she was born on a full moon evening. This is her mate, Pornim the baby, who's 16 months old and born here. She's a little bit, a little bit shy. It's not the easiest to. There you go, cow. Show cow. And uh, we have Sarabi here. He's uh, one of our big biscuit fans. <laughs> After giving her a biscuit, you have to check how many fingers are left. She's a lovely girl, she is. She's um, her breed. She's a white part cross with Belgian blue, and uh, that's one. The white park is one of the original breeds of the UK. And this is Abby Manu. She's about five years old. She's Mother's here, uh, Tara. And uh, he's a, a Gloucester cow, which again is another original breed of the UK. A very, quite a placid cow and strongly built. A little bit of a cheeky boy.
They're all molting at the moment, losing their winter coats. They love using the uh, overhanging branches as scratching posts. 